I don't know about you, but I absolutely love it when liberals think that one of President Obama's accomplishments is the record stock market, when in actuality, it is really one of the indicators of an epic disaster just waiting to unfold. David Stockman, who used to be Ronald Reagan's budget director, has said that when it comes to the income inequality President Obama constantly harps on and constantly talks about, he, quote, is talking about a symptom, but he's clueless as to the cause. The cause is not capitalism. The cause is not some entrepreneur out there trying to invent something and improve the performance of his business. The problem is in the Eccles building, which is the home to the main office of the Federal Reserve, and in the 12 people sitting there and thinking that interest rates are some magic elixir that'll cause this very troubled and difficult economy to revive. Then Stockman goes on to say, and I want you to hear this, he goes on to say, speaking of the 12 people in the Federal Reserve, these people are dangerous and destructive, and they're, they're creating this massive inequal, income inequality that sooner or later is going to cause a huge political reaction. So yes, okay, yes, Stockman agrees there's a problem with wealth inequality, but it's not what the paid government protesters and union thugs think it is when they go press to protest at Walmart, when they don't even work at Walmart, and, and they demand a completely ridiculous $15 an hour minimum wage. Uh, yeah, right. It was created by the Federal Reserve via quantitative easing, basically giving Wall Street investors nearly free money, backed by the previous precedent of a guarantee of a bailout, as in 2007, and letting these investors throw this money at the stock market. The gains were made not by the average investor, not by the you and me investor, but by high-level investors propped up and maybe even in collusion with the Federal Reserve. This market is not real, people. It's not real. It's fake. It's propped up by fake money via a fake president. And as David Stockman has said, when this third bubble busts, and it will, oh yes, it most certainly will, it's going to be an epic, epic day of reckoning. The signs are all there for an economic collapse in 2015. Sooner or later, going to be close. The warnings are in, and I hope you are preparing accordingly.